Namaskar and a very good morning. Welcome to the Audio Gospel Code of Security. I'm your host and guide, Anindya Banerjee. Yesterday, RBI announced a slew of measures to attract foreign capital into the country. Before going to the measures, we would like to highlight a very important point here, like something which we have been saying for a long, long time, that three factors which dictate the trend in USD and R are capital flows, that is foreign capital flows, carry trade, and third, RBI intervention. Now, coming back to the slew of measures, measure number one, RBI basically incentivized the banks to go ahead and attract NRI deposits, even by offering rates which are higher than the domestic interest rates. But the question is, why would any bank offer interest rates which are more than domestic interest rates when they can easily attract the deposits from the uh, domestic savers. Point number two, RBI incentivized the corporates to do greater ECB borrowing. Now, last year was a record year for ECB borrowing. This year, there was a bit of circumspect uh, because globally in interest rates are rising. There is a bit of dollar tightness, etc. But this may actually incentivize a bit of ECB borrowing as well. So incrementally, it is positive for the flows. Third, RBI basically incentivized the hot money or the short-term players in the debt market to come and bet on the Indian corporate and government debt without any restriction. But these have a time window that is up to October. They can do that. And they, uh, this may have an incremental positive impact on the flows. So if I sum up everything, it looks like uh, RBI's measures will have a positive impact on capital flows. But how big will be the impact? We have to see because there has been a persistent outflow from the bond market. Not significant, but persistent. The outflows is far bigger in equity. But the bond market, there is an outflow. The question is, would FPI's find it lucrative enough to come at the short end of the bond market we may not uh, we feel that they may not show tremendous interest at this point in time if global situation turns around there is dollar softness there is talk of peak yields in america definitely uh, there will be a lot of interest for indian short-term debt and indian long-term debt but as of now that flows looks a little less likely to happen it will happen incrementally but especially the place where the flows can happen is arbitrage so wherever there will be an arbitrage opportunity after hedging their uh, rupee exposure there will be demand for such trades but hedge uh, fx hedge trades don't have impact on the spot therefore such trades will be material to close the arbitrage but will not be so material to impact the USD and our spot, but it will definitely create inflows into the country wherever the arbitrage exists. In fact, last night or last evening, there was a sharp spike in the one year forward premium. Could be a sign that some arbitrage was available and some FPIs tried to close that gap. So now net net, it is in incrementally positive. We have seen an appreciation in the USD and our 79 cash pass trade career offshore spot July Futures in DGCX is around 79.16, 79.17. So, the, what is the trade now? The bias is still upward. Jab tak 78, 90, 79 ka support is intact on July futures. So, uh, it's a buy on dips, but the stop loss has to be below 78.90. Agar USDN is sustaining below 78.90 on the futures, then it is better to exit and be on sidelines and wait for a clarity to emerge. So, jab tak 78, 90 is intact, buy on dips is the trade. You can either use call spreads or you can use uh, futures as well. Upside is going to be capped around 79 half. Because upper levels mein RBI intervention is going to be clear. Because kal ke measures ke baad, one thing is pretty clear that RBI doesn't want the rupee to immediately depreciate a lot. So, you can expect at higher levels if dollar rupee manages to go up there will be a lot of intervention. Now, coming to the crosses, uh, before the crosses, let's talk about the Fed minutes. Fed minutes basically was very hawkish. They talked about raising interest rates by 50 or 75 bips or even more if it is warranted. 
But after the last Fed meeting, commodity prices have fallen quite a bit. Oil prices, like Brent, is uh, around hundred dollars a barrel, but Brent is yet to breach the mid-March lows of ninety-seven. Now, since mid-March, it has been in this range between ninety-seven and one twenty-five. The question is whether it will break down or not. If it breaks down, it's going to be very positive for India. So that's something to watch on. But as I said, since the last Fed meeting, commodity prices across the board have corrected quite a lot, so which will have a, a soothing impact on inflation. And the various economic data, even Kal Joya data, USA, which is ISM uh, Services PMI, and uh, the uh, job market opening survey called Jolts, dono prima facie was strong, but clearly there is a deceleration trend underway. in each of these data points so us economy is slowing down there is no doubt about it and fed will pay attention so therefore don't make the mistake of thinking that just because the minutes are so hawkish the fed is going to hike rates whatever come may no that's not going to happen we think every meeting is live and fed will be exceptionally flexible on the way up and they can be also very flexible on the way down so therefore they can recalibrate their expectations and suddenly say we will Uh, hike rates at a slower pace so keep that in mind and therefore the volatility in financial markets is going to be higher now coming to uh, euro dollar gbp dollar usd jpy euro dollar uh, euro nr we may see some bit of correction uh, today upside correction because they are oversold but the overall trend is still down gbp dollar 2 it is oversold so a correction is expected upside but the overall trend is down and yen nr 2 may see a uh, uh, uh yeah in fact uh, yen and i will be opposite it may see a downside pull back and that can uh, uh be due to the spike in the us uh, bond deals so that's it folks this is anidhi banerjee signing off a fantastic day